Lightcut is one of the best video editors. With multiple editing workspaces and templates, we can make stunning videos. If you are new to this app, here's how to use it. So let's get started. When you open it the first time, you must agree to its terms and conditions. This is its home interface. It has multiple editors and we'll cover them individually. First, we'll cover the main editor because once you learn that interface, you'll automatically learn other interfaces. Tap the new project button and this will ask you to import files. You'll need to give it permission to use files and audio. We can import highlights of a video by clicking this expand arrow. Here, seek the video and tap this button. What Lightcut will do is only import the highlighted part. Let's go back. You'll see the part count at the top of the clip. Click next. This is the editing interface. You can swipe left and right on the timeline to seek forward and backward. We can change the project aspect ratio from this list. Also, change the clip scale by pinching the video. This is the undo button to undo the last edit and the next is the redo button. I'll undo the changes. You can add more files with the plus icon. To trim a video, tap on it, then hold and shrink from its edge. You can go other way to bring back the trimmed content. To split at a point, ensure edit is selected. Tap the cut button to split it. I'll split here as well. To delete this part, we tap it and then click the delete button. To adjust the clip volume, click the second button. This slider will adjust the volume. I'll increase it slightly. Lightcut has an amazing feature which you will find in most tools. It's called apply to all. This will apply the same edits to all the clips. Tap in here will increase the volume of all the clips. I'll tap on it. We can duplicate a video by pressing the copy button. Let's delete it. Reversing a clip is also possible with this button. The option will mute the clip so there won't be any audio. We can tap the same button to return the original video with sound. Lightcut has a title feature that adds a video title before it plays. Those pre-made titles are a few seconds long and I don't like them. To add a transition, click the icon between two clips. Lightcut has several great transitions. Tap in one will show you what it will look like. You can adjust its speed using this slider. I'll apply this effect to all the clips to save time. Let's go to the music tab. Touch this line to see the music provided by Lightcut. Tap on one to play it. I'll find something cheerful. To add one, tap the use button. When selected, you'll see the music options at the bottom. We can adjust the volume here. I'll reduce it as it's background music. Also, check fade in and out and the music will start and end slowly. You can also shrink it, expand it, replace it, split it, copy it, trim it and do other things. To add local audio files, swipe left from here and find the one you want to add. One thing I forgot to cover is that we can sort videos by holding each and then sorting them. We also have quick sound effects to add to the video. You'll find many categories to use. Extracting audio from video is also possible. Filter is where we adjust the video colors and apply quick filters. Each has a slider to adjust its strength. The categories are at the top. Adjust is where we take the matter into our own hands. We can adjust contrast, saturation, temperature and other things. Then we have glamorous effects and color recovery options. Those are pre-made filters to recover the colors of a video recorded in an old device. Effects are a fun way to change the video style. Tap the effects track to add one. Some will mirror the video, some will add lights and some will add rainbows. Let's try the leaves effect. Looks great. You can shrink and expand effects and add others with the options provided. Alright, text and stickers are the last two options. We can add a simple text or a text effect. Let's add an effect. We have plenty of options. Tap on one to add it. The text field will appear. 
I'll put down my own name. When a text is selected, we have similar options down the bottom. Animation is where we find the amazing animations to apply to the text. When you select one, the animation duration will appear. We can also change the text font, color and position from the top row. It's all about finding the options to get that perfect result. Stickers are animated editable text templates that have multiple texts and stickers. We have many categories at the top. Let's add this one as well. To adjust the video quality, tap the top button next to export. Changing the resolution and frame rate are possible. When you're ready, hit the export button. Now you know how to edit videos, understanding other interfaces is easy. The one tap edit is a quick editor to import videos and choose one of the pre-made templates. Those have quick editing tools at the bottom. We can edit clips, sort them, rotate them and do other things. Adding text, stickers and end cards are also possible. This interface is to make quick intro and trailer type videos because those mostly add music and mute the original sound. The other two interfaces are InspireCam and Templates. In InspireCam, we record videos in the app and use one of the templates to make videos. Find a template and preview it. If you like one, click the shoot button to record videos. Templates are also like InspireCam. Instead of recording, we add local video and image files. Tap on a template and see how many clips are needed to use it. So this was a quick light cut tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you need any help. I'll catch you later. Take care.